Hello, welcome back to The Binding of Isaac. I pressed random before I remembered to introduce. I was sort of pressing the button, and then I went, oh wait, you have to introduce the uh, the episode before you do things like this. Now I've just come away from the Maggie Daily, so you can see how far ahead I've recorded these 1001% uh, getting runs. Quite far ahead. And now I am uh, a bullshit Maggie again because I've just come away from the OP Maggie that we got from re-rolling a billion times. But at least we can use non-daily tactics. We don't need to worry about boss rush. We don't need to, therefore, how fast we're going. We don't need to worry about taking damage, really. And, of course, the items that we want are from... At least one of them is from a deal with the angel. So we also don't need to worry about deals with the devil. However... Good, yeah, good. Well done. Oh, you fucking dick. <laughs> Stop being shit. Use that. There we go. Um... However, Maggie is the sort of character where the deals with the devil can be so meaningful to improve your lot. That's actually worse. <laughs> it's worse than Yum Heart. It can be so meaningful to improve your lot that you might actually want to take them and to hell with boss rush. No, to hell with angel rooms, to hell with godhead. And you can still get godhead if chaos shows up. Chaos could show up in the shop chase chaos then all shops and all other item rooms contain anything including godhead so there are ways out even if we do want to take a deal with the devil hopefully item rooms will be better than the d10 or the dio yeah no not today what do we say to the god of death please call later please leave a message after the tone I'm afraid we can't come to our corpus at the moment, but please leave a message and we'll be sure to say not today, later. I do hate Larry Jr. with low damage. Oh, I like Larry Jr. with low damage, but Larry Jr. never has low damage. It's always me with low damage and Larry Jr. with the bullshit random motion brownie and crap that means I have to deal with poops all over the place and never actually being on target because you can't, you know, predict that what you're doing is the correct thing to do. You know, you do these amazing sort of ballsy standing next to it sort of things. But basically, all you're trying to do on this thingy is <laughs> make sure that you're not right in front of it to the extent that it's about to walk into you. And that's the best you can do. I mean, if you want to, if you need to get close to it, it could at any point just turn into you. True enough. But I, I don't know, maybe you can assume that there's a a few frames or a couple of tiles of forward motion before it turns or you can assume it's going to trap itself in the corner or something like that but Larry Jr. is completely random as far as I can tell. That was very close. We do want to get the door so that we can, you know, deny the devil. Or take it and go fuck it because Crown of Light does show up out of outside of angel rooms. So Crown of Light is not our... Uh, concern here is Godhead. We need to get Godhead and Godhead is very rare and shows up only on Angel Rooms unless you have Chaos. So we really want to give ourselves as much advantage as we can to encourage Godhead to show up. I don't even know if we've seen Godhead on any of the dailies that we've done. I mean it can show up on daily runs because everything's unlocked on daily runs. More of these though. No, I don't want those. Um, but I don't think we've seen it except the occasional shot that you get at random from uh, from three dollar bill or, or or the fruit cake. We could get that key if we had a bomb, but I'd rather we just dropped a key, <laughs> I guess. Bombs don't seem as valuable as keys right now because we're going to need a key. Not a magician card. We need a key in order to open the item room in order to get the best benefit out of this floor key. And a golden bomb, which actually sort of solves both problems at once. Golden bomb will also allow us to really go nuts looking for the secret room, which could be anywhere as far as I can tell. Not there. Let's uh, explode this as well. These poops are being very generous, which is not something you often get to say. So relish it. Not the poop. Relish the opportunity. I mean, you could relish the poop if you wanted to. I don't want to shame anybody, but... It is there, actually. Kind of uns kind of surprised. I was going to say it's kind of unsurprising, but it's the opposite of unsurprising in as much as it was surprising. So golden bombs for this floor is kind of great, although 
The basement doesn't have that much scope for using them. There may also be an arcade. I'm not sure whether we got all this money on the previous floor or this one. It's enough to make it worth looking, I think. Hive Mind could be really good for us, but I think I'll take the Spirit Heart just for peace of mind purposes. There's no way we're getting into that boss trap room, so cast it out of your mind immediately. I'm going to check for Super Secret Room down here. I'm not worried about how long we spend. Oh, it is here. So I'm glad I did. <laughs> Very funny. The one thing we don't need right now is red HP. We have more than enough of that. Being a Maggie run, of course. Having this uh, yum heart. Do we use the magician here? I don't know. This thing, though. Urge. I'm very glad that I bought that spirit heart because I have no idea how to deal with these flies. This room is actually a lot easier on the burning basement because all the fly fires, flies just walk into me. Oh, I took red heart damage. That's it then. Game over. GG. Thanks for watching. I, I really hate these corn flies. I literally have no idea how to deal with them because the pattern that they come at you in, like the, the big yellow flashy ones, it's obvious. They're chasing you. you. Try and sort of dodge around the corn flies. They're not having it, man. They just won't do it. Bad trip is not great, but addicted. neither is addicted actually, because that's going to do a full heart of damage when we leave. Luckily, I don't give any shits right now. We have more than enough actual HP, so three HP is going to carry us a long way. Now we have super bandage, which has uh, fixed everything. A coin, sure. It's not fixed everything. I think super bandage can cause us to drop HP when we get hit, though. Um. Unfortunately, it didn't fix anything, everything in time to have to deal with that shitty room with all the baddies in it. Or the flies. Um, but... We do... It's the boss room that will completely eradicate our chances of getting the deal with the devil. We still have a chance, it's just not that good. But now that we have spirit hearts to protect us against this boss here... We have at least a better chance of getting a deal with the devil than we would have if we didn't have these spirit hearts. And this is why Maggie's really awkward when she's slow, because Dingle here is often a little bit difficult to actually avoid when it does that charge. At least we can rely on our shots mostly hitting, even if we are in the process of doing some fairly simple but yet still easy to fuck up dodging. Quite how I'm fucking up these dodges, I do not know. And the magician focusing on these dips can also be stopped. There we go. Did get hit. It's quite difficult not to get hit there, which is a bit irritating because it should be simple. You just, you know, be in the right place. Predict where it's going. No deal with the devil. Kind of expected, but guess we'll head on down. No, um, no arcade either, so no opportunity to use our copious amounts of red HP. Which actually turned out to be uh, valuable kept this time uh, to to get some coins or maybe the blood bank, the bag at the blood bank. Nor was there an opportunity to spend it on a demon judgment. Now I understand that if you explode a demon judgment, and this makes sense if you think about it, if you explode a demon judgment, it can improve your deal with the devil chances. Uh, deal with the angel chances. I'm going to explode this thing. Because I don't really fancy what it can give us at this stage. Sloth. Um, I mean, it can basically give us the map, some... It's most likely to give us HP, I think. Which we've got more than enough of. It can give us the map, it can give us a few good items, but we only had 10 cents at the time. And if we're going to use those 10 cents, I'd rather use it on something that we're guaranteed to get, i.e. an item from the shop, than something we have to gamble against. If we had a shitload of money, of course I'd spend, spend it on that, uh, key, that coin beggar, but it didn't seem most prudent, so I exploded it. Could increase our chance of a deal with the devil. I'm still not sure whether it increases our chance at getting the door, or whether it increases the chance of the door being a devil door. If it's the latter, there was no point blowing it up, it was just a waste of a bomb, because it's guaranteed to be a devil door, and indeed, currently, it's guaranteed to exist. But, in the former thing, at least I can give myself some freedom to take red heart damage and still feel like I've got a chance of getting a, a deal with the devil. Although, I'd just rather not take the damage at all, if I can possibly manage it. 
This seems pretty good. We've got a decent rate of fire and our shot speed is okay. So at least we can stand on the other side of the room from these bastards. And sort of whittle them down that way. But, I mean, mostly I'd rather just not have to be in this situation. GB Bug is pretty shit. But it can do a decent amount of damage to enemies. So, you know, don't actually dismiss it as a useless item until it has shown itself to be a useless item, I guess. Okay, just killed that fly by going through it. It poisoned it, the fly died. I'm down with that. Bob's bladder? Guess why not? Bomb for a bomb when we could bang the bang dicky. I mean, find a secret room. What did I say? Kinda don't want to get that unless we can suddenly fly. The thing about stone chests is they could so easily contain a head item that you're going to have to then decide if you want to spend the HP on acquiring. We probably will go to the shop. Because we can always uh, use the donation machine to buy something if we truly desire. Or we could just take the red candle and basically win. Now, I don't mean to suggest that this is now a one run. But our chances are looking a lot more likely. Because the red candle can output so much damage, it's just a matter of... <laughs> but the blank card is so good. I think blank card is more interesting. We only spent seven cents on it, and there goes our win, but okay. I mean, blank card moon is immediately way out of places we don't want to be. But, I mean, blank card joker, blank card credit card, blank card two of anything. You know, blank card hierophant. Anything. Blank card Awas, Blank card Yera. In fact, Blank card Yera is probably one of the more fun ones, especially once you get down to the chest. But, of course, currently it's Blank card Moon. It's only uh, very recently that I used Blank card with the Sun card. Blank card Sun, of course, the uh, well-known Northern Lion cover of Black Hole Sun by Soundgarden. Soundgarden? Soundgarden. I did take damage in this room by completely failing to predict the motion of the ocean in this particularly awkward situation, but you're know, right next to the boss, so I'm not going to use the blank card just now. The pestilence fight in this tiny little scrap of a room is not ideal at all. Hopefully we can get it whittled away. And, oh, bad. Uh, GB Bug can certainly help us out here if it really wanted to. Hello? No? Please. <laughs> I sense that it doesn't produce more creep until the old creep has gone away. Does that make sense? Like, it keeps firing two... Uh, two explosions, which make creep, and then stopping, and then the creep goes away, and then it fired another one. Maybe that's a mechanic that I just wasn't previously aware of. We won our deal with the devil, I'm very happy to see this, and it does not have anything in it that I really care to take. So here's what I'm going to do. We will take our guppy item. We will use it on maybe more HP than I anticipated, because accidentally I forgot <laughs> How many spirit hearts you get for each one of those? I will not moon card out of here because there's no goddamn way I'm walking back. Uh, I'm moon card out of here because there's no way I'm fighting those jabronis. Don't really care to try and get five cents out of that thing either, so we'll just leave. I'm not. I'm not in a position where I'm super excited or anxious to go fast. But I am in a position where I just don't want to do a lot of this. We're still on base damage, so we haven't really... Uh, not quite. We've got the blue cap, which is a small damage upgrade, so... Credit where credit's due. Most of our DPS, however, is entirely in the... Uh, that was very good. Entirely in the, the torn photograph, the tears upgrade. We do have an orbital now, which is going to... Okay. <laughs> it's going to say, hey, why don't you, you know, walk into the... Uh, Walk into the enemies and try and do damage with the Cuban meat. Well, I, I say to you, a very good question, sir. But how exactly do, do you propose I walk into enemies? We're talking quite clearly on the other side of a chasm. That does seem like a reasonable bet. Ah, no. There's no point having Broken Remote in this situation because we're using Blank Hard Moon. And broken Remote will cause us to teleport whenever we use our... Um, spacebar item, which is already going to cause us to teleport, so... I mean, it can be quite interesting. If you have a single room charge spacebar item, that doesn't really do you much benefit. <laughs> Thank you for the liberty cap. 
doesn't really give you much benefit. You can use it as a sort of an emergency teleporter. Ooh, I'm glad I came in here. I quite like Mom's wig. We unfortunately didn't manage to pick up... Um, I think we saw Hive Mind earlier. I may be wrong. That might have been the daily. Uh, hive Mind would be great right now. Because the spiders would be that much more damaging. That much more potent. So you know how I've always got an itchy nose? Yeah, right now. Uh, I'd like to be able to use our orbital here, but I, I fear it is not to be. Because I can't guarantee that this thing's not going to try and jump on me. But mostly it's dead anyway, so I guess we don't need to worry about it too much. We did get a spirit heart out of this, and I don't think I prefer that. So I'm not going to take it. I'm not even going to use the moon card to try and find the secret room. I think we'll just go. We're, uh, we're way behind for boss rush, which was never in my actual, you know, sphere of concern. But I guess we use this in here. For, for what it's worth. I actually forgot that that was the outcome of that. So maybe it wasn't the best of ideas, but still. It's done. It's done. Greed in here means no greed in the shop, but we could get super greed in the shop. Oh, you dodged that. How did you dodge that? I'm talking to myself, of course. We're on depth XL, which means there are two item rooms, but also it means that both bosses are here. And we have Blank Hard Moon, which will get us out of boss rush, if we can get to it. Which is looking more likely, because, of course, if we find the boss room quickly, we can go through them, you know, jump into boss rush, nick an item, and then finish the rest of the floor. So we just need to sort of know where we're going. And honestly, I'm feeling like we should go this way. Just because it's so far away from, from the uh, spawn room, basically. That was very ballsy. Don't do what I did there. Because every other time I've ever done that in my life, it's uh, turned out bad. So, good job. <laughs> Black card is available again, and we have... Oh, I was right. Tickle me. Whatever. Just tickle me. Yeah, right there. Please don't tickle me. <laughs> Not my favourite thing in the world is being tickled. In fact, kind of upsets me. Yeah, run into the fucking fires. See if I give a shit. Do my job for me, you bastard. Yeah, follow me. Oomph. Chase me. Chase me. Call me Amy. Now we've got a second level of all the bandages, which is kind of nice. Now we just beat Mom. We've got plenty of time to do so. We could take a lot of damage here because ooh, I'm going to walk into enemies as they spawn. But also, I was going to say, we're still doing base damage as well. Base damage plus previously mentioned small upgrade from Blue Cap, which I believe is a French beret. I would like it, Mom, if you would stamp such that when I step out of the way, my ball of bandages is in a position to walk into. If we can manage this. Is that, is that an option? I hate this. What you doing? Yeah, like that. Good. More stomps. More stomping. I might have to turn off this colorblind mod with the shadows. That was well telegraphed for once, Mom. I appreciate that. Normally the raw and the stomp are so close together you don't have time to react. That was very good as well. Ah, ah. Kill it. Angel room. That is what we asked for. Plenty of time to have a look in it. I'm not going to be able to... Oh, I am going to be able to because I don't have the opportunity to. I didn't think I'd ever had Trinity Shield before, actually. But now I think about it, obviously there were only two, um, two gaps in our list. So Trinity Shield means you can walk... You can basically catch bullets with it. Yeah. But you can't catch beams, so don't get cocky. As long as it's point, as long as uh, it's pointing at the bullets. Guess we take this. I'm not sure if it's true that the key piece improves your. Ooh, this is dangerous, but tremendous. How about no Isaac's heart? I think I will take Polyphemus. That Proptosis. Even though some of the other items may have been better. There's a theory that. Northern Lion has that having the key piece increases your chance of getting an angel room. Oh, you're one of those, aren't you? Like, 
uh, like the opposite of devil precedent, but less strong. I don't think it's true. Because otherwise, it would be way easier to get to Mega Stand in the first place. Somehow, I actually survived the first wave of this room, which is very, very rare. Good job. Good work, everyone. So, yeah, some of the other items are pretty good. Obviously, Isaac's Heart was not one. Ah, there we go. Blank Card Hierophant. We have won. Um, obviously not Isaac's Heart, but I was considering taking Chocolate Milk. Chocolate Milk with the um, tap shooting the is very nice indeed. Bad Trip is not what I want, but Blank Card Hierophant absolutely is. And now we go looking for our item rooms. There was also uh, Sissy Long Legs, I think. Which, uh, there's a case to be made that it's half decent. We're so slow, we can't actually do this. We can just about do this. Oh, now we're faster, so I'm glad I did. Uh, Sissy Longlays produces spiders. Oh, that was really terrible timing. I apologise for everybody who just winced. Uh, Sissy Longlays gives you spiders when you get hit. Not the same. Oh, thank you. As, what's the other one? Spider baby? Maybe it's the other way around. Oh, great. Uh, it's not the same as Spider Baby, which gives you spiders just at random, like we are currently getting. And I'm quite happy with the spiders we're currently getting at random, so... Uh, please don't call again. Unless you can offer it a cheaper rate. Right, we've, we've got our Hierophant back. Hierophant, sorry. I would like a bomb. Because, careful. Um... The bomb will allow us to get some decent value out of the mob trap room, which we can get into, being a mob trap room. Two stone chests is a fairly good, well, much larger, fairly good proposition because let me out. Stone chests can contain heads, and heads can give us a damage upgrade to go on top of our proptosis. And if I could stop walking into enemies, taking the stupidest damage ever, that'd be sweet too. Blank card Yera. Right, here's what we're going to do then. We take this Yera room. And whilst we're on this floor, we're going to blank card Yera, the Hierophant card. And when we've got an abundance of Hierophant cards on the ground, friends till the end is okay. Yera. We can then feel happy that we've got plenty of HP. We can also look for the shop and hope to get maybe a uh, starter deck. Hmm, it's okay. Why are we so slow all of a sudden? Oh, Liberty Cap, of course, is making us uh, large. We did get the bomb we asked for. What did I want that for? Oh, yeah, for the uh, other room. Oh, sweet. Now I don't need to worry about most other things. More HP is available to us on the next floor. And if we can get, like I was saying, starter deck, that will allow us to carry one of the Hierophant cards and the Yera rune, in which case I don't need to play all this crap with uh, multiplying the Hierophant card. But still, just in case we can't get that, which is the far more likely option, there are several Spirit Hearts basically awaiting us. So if you could uh, just find it in your heart to take more damage or throw yourself on your sword and save us all. A lot of embarrassment. That would be great too. Getting close to these enemies with Proptosis is of course, uh, Polyphemus is of course, wait what did we get? Proptosis is of course the uh, the best way of dealing with that because that does the most damage up close. And if you can use Friendly Zone, oh, sorry, Friendly Fly, Friend Zone. Blank Card Sun, won't you come? So there's our shop, we will go to that. Ooh, Pyromaniac is also very good. So, if we hadn't already won, we now absolutely certainly have. And I'm going to take Bob's brain because we can take explosions in the face and not worry about it. Just like your mama. Bob's brain, go. But Bob's brain is going to be healing us whenever I do it wrong. Which is kind of bad for me because it means that I sort of train myself to <laughs> explode Bob's brain in my own face. We might as well take this, but it's not what I wanted. I will keep the Yara rune because we don't need the Hierophant play anymore. That's fine. I don't care about that. Why did that... Oh, Bob's brain hit it. I was thinking, that's not an explodey type champion. 
What is happening? It's fine. Blank card, two of hearts. No. Now we go to our mob trap room. 23 minutes. Probably not going to fight Hush. The only reason we fought Boss Rush was to scum up the item. Which worked out well for us. We got a decent item from it. But I wasn't there for... Oh yeah, the hangman. That's going to do us such good. Thank you. Kind of hoping for something out of here, like a uh, Steven Guppy's head, something like that. A guppy on this would be just the icing on the cake. We can already fly, and we are producing spiders at sort of semi-regular intervals. It's random, but it's semi-regular. So we already have the ability to fly and some creatures helping us out doing extra damage, but, you know, Guppy's Guppy. You can't turn down Guppy. Spiders are indeed based on your tier damage. The, the spider's damage, that is. So it's going to be two times our tier damage on each spider, which is already really good. It's actually slightly better than Guppy in that respect, but... I mean... Guppy, man. Guppy. Here we go, then. Wound 1. Now we start taking full hearts of damage. Which is not shit. I don't want to do that. Because we don't have to, because it's not a daily run. Last time I was in one of these rooms, they shot at me straight away, and I was pissed off. Not this time. These things, though. Northern Line says these ones that turn into hosts are his least favourite. No, 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 Northern Line. You are mistaken. The worst enemies in the game are the ones that disappear just before you can hit them and nevertheless manage to pop up and shoot you in the face before you can react. I don't like how large we are. Although, I don't know why I was dodging those bombs. They're not going to hurt us. Blank card. Yeah. Very well, we swapped our Yara Rune out for a fresh one because mine was getting a little bit dirty. That was a mistake, but... Not going to hurt us too hard, I hope. A couple of extra keys is going to help because we're going to have a shitload of chests to open. Which is basically the limiting factor of taking the Black Card Yara to the chest. Is the number of keys you have with which to open said chests. Because you can get a lot of chests, that's the point there. Hello? Oh, hello. I didn't see that one. Did you see that one? Everyone was going, it's right there. Let's see what this thing is going to give us. Come on. Oh, Gimpy. Okay, thank you. Appreciate that. I don't really need you, but you could give me some more rock. You didn't, but it's a spirit heart, which is also quite welcome. Thank you for the spirit heart. It's always polite to be polite. It doesn't cost anything. If the game hears that you are gracious in your acceptance of its gifts, maybe it will give you further gifts in the future. You, know, you don't have to be rude about the fact that you wanted small rock but only got a spirit heart. I mean, what's the matter with you? Look at this tiny little eyeball, which I exploded with Bob's brain. Why break the thing that was making the thing that's hard to hit easy to hit? Don't question my tactics. I'm the expert here. I'm the one recording the game. You're the one watching it. If you think you know better, you fucking watch it. Uh, don't want it. Uh, sorry. You record it. Quite how that thing hit us when we were actually firing in a completely different direction. I do not know. But at least the spider got it. I was all prepared there to walk into the corner and use my ability to fly to scum up the... Uh, in that particular case, it didn't matter. Often there's spikes in both corners and you have to... Decide whether you want to take the damage. Blank card, Yera. Won't you, Terra? I don't know. Just go with it. I do like it when you can destroy those heads before they actually arrive at you. That's basically the minimum amount of damage you need to be doing on this floor. Is whatever's required to destroy those heads before they actually hit you. And... Whatever's required to destroy those motherfucking things that pop up before they pop back down again. Another, um, another horseman is pretty nice. We have missed one, though, I'm fairly sure. Because this is the last opportunity for a horseman. Uh, okay. Shot, I guess. What? <laughs> What's happening? This is the last opportunity for a horseman to show up in the game. And we do not have third level cube. Give it bandages. 
What's our other uh, angel room then? Holy mantle. All is, all is done. Oh, I should have. Oh, I still can. We might fight Mega Stan because why the hell? They're gonna hit. I don't know. Don't forget, you can't be hurt by explosions. Bob's brain, go. God damn it, Bob's brain. He's really not helping. I mean, I'm not too concerned about the number of bombs that we have. It's not bombs that are the play here, it's... Oh, I should have yared that. Why didn't you? Good fucking question. Don't... What did we just discuss about who's playing the game and who's watching it? If you feel that strongly about it, why don't you put up a, a reaction video? Here's the seed. D-B-Q-N-D-R-T-Z. Right? If you want to play this... Pull up a response video. Show me how you would do it. Uh, it's anemic. What is the difference between anemic and lusty blood? Can we talk about this? I still have yet to figure it out. Bob's brain is being super helpful. Because we don't have to worry about it, which is why I took it. Um, they seem to look exactly the same graphically to me. I do like this though. La la la. Bring it along. Do, 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 do. Didn't fire a single shot. Ha 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 ha. Uh, play this a little bit. Should have yared that. See if Gimpy can pay out with some more. Gimpy, hello. Probably going to stop there. There is some uh, HP in here. That's okay too. Now we're at a half heart interval, which I think helps. Oh wait, I know it helps. Literally, there's a there's always a chance that we get um, caught out and we need to rely on permanent Polaroid invincibility, but I just remembered we picked up Holy Mantle, which although is not the item that we're looking for, move along. It's a very good item to have. Oh, yeah, why don't we just stand near Bob's brain or anything that explodes? Ooh, I'm hiccuping. And let it heal us. That's what I meant when we said one, of course, but I sort of forgot. We'll do this. Different trinket? No trinket. I assumed that uh, that would, you know, turn into two trinkets. The dime doesn't really help. But I'm doing this so we can get to the boss trap room. Could be shit, but why not? No spirit hearts in that. Uh, no. Liberty Cap is also not that amazing, I expect, but... Do you know what? I'll tell you what. Do you know what? I'm going to get a charge on my uh, blank card Yera. Try not to heal myself so that I can actually get back into there. And then we're going to Yera those chests to see if it works. Might work. You don't know. We can't go into the curse room. I just remembered we have Holy Mantle. So... Now, I know that there's a... You're probably thinking, what's, what do you mean, don't worry about... Uh, you don't want to heal yourself by accident. There is a blood bank. That is true. There is a blood bank. If I accidentally heal myself too many times and the blood bank disappears, you know, it pays out while I'm still using it, we can't get into the boss trap room. So I'm going to try and yarrow the boss trap room, basically. See if we can get four golden... Four stone chests. Because... See, I've already... I accidentally healed myself once, which is once more than I wanted to, but I mean, it's locked that room, basically. We do get one more play on this without worrying about it. Boom. Fine. I don't really care for the money, which is why I'm not using my permanent Polaroid invincibility to play that even longer. Does it work? It does. Push this down here. Push this over here. Put this here. Ooh. Very glad that I did that. Not only did we get our last... Well, we guaranteed our last remaining deal with the devil. That's good enough. But Cricket's head is basically going to do so much difference to our damage right now. We're going to be shitting on everything. We can start eating up this HP as well. That's fine too. Don't need to worry about Bob's brain. Just explode everything. We are now out of control powerful. Not just we're going to win this powerful, but we have basically already won this and it just hasn't realised that it's dead sort of won this. Couple more spirit hearts for those odd occasions where we take so much damage that it actually matters. If only we could actually move a little bit faster, I'd feel like I was steamrolling the game, but 
Our speed is our limiting factor that is making me feel so sluggish. Our speed is sluggish compared to our damage. Right? Make sense? Because we could just run into every room, shoot the shit out of it, run out, do the next one. What have we got here? Yara, Bacano. Just use the Bacano rune. But we can't run into them fast enough. I don't feel like I'm balling out of control because I can't just piss on the game because I'm pissing too slowly. I can't get to the toilet in time. So... Yeah, let's re-roll everything. It's a four room. Anything in here to re-roll? Not really. Don't even need the spirit heart. I'm not even going to pick all that up. That's how blase I am. That's how complacent I'm feeling. Still no guppy. We got two heads out of the stone chest, and the reason for that was that I yarrowed the stone chest, and if you yarrow a chest, it will usually pay out with the same sort of thing that it was already going to pay out with. I'm not sure if it's literally the same, because sometimes if they have consumables in, they pay out with a different set of consumables, but if it was going to pay out with a head item, you'll now get two head items. That's exactly what happened. Why did I run away? I don't know. Uh, yeah, we yarrow this one as well. Hooray! Not Guppy's head, of course, but, you know. Checkers can't be losers. I don't even want to get any more red HP at this stage because it's just slightly taking a piss. Well, we're going really. S for s how fast that we are, we're going super slowly. Because I'm trying to get the most out of this run, it's going so well. Bob's brain, get in there. I think we've already lost Holy Mantle because I actually walked into one of those enemies just now, but still didn't take any damage. And we do got our deal with the angel because we deserve it. Uh, this is Circle of Protection. Don't know what it does, but we've had it before, according to the list. Well, I have. Yeah, good. Up we go. Unfortunately, even with the goat head, even with actually getting some decent items on... Oh, I wonder if that's on purpose. Even with getting some decent items on the angel rooms, still no godhead. I, I let go there, I think, for some reason that we had a uh, uh, brimstone. A little brimstone charge, but we didn't. I'm not even going to play that. Let's just get out of here. This uh, circle of protection will pick up some bullets. So basically, we're extremely offensive and extremely defensive. Now, we could be way more offensive and not as defensive. I'd be happy with that. Ooh. Even without the stud finder. Tech 2. I'm going to take it because why the fuck not? Tech 2, Polyphemus, Cricket's head. It's probably going to do us quite well. It's going to obviously remove our amazing tier effect. Well, it's going to remove half of them. I don't know. I'm not quite sure if Tech 2 is ever the right option. It's long range. You can really chew something up from across the room. But we need a higher tier rate. You can see it flashing. You can see the ticks of damage flashing on it. That is the tier rate. That is based on your tier stat. Which is not higher. I was going to wait for that to be, you know, tears up and go, now it's higher. And I feel a little smug and suave about myself, but in fact, it's turned up for shit. Don't know what happened there, but it worked out really well. Oh, uh, yeah, walk into the Loki straight up. And then you don't have to worry about whether you're going to lose Holy Mantle because you just lost it. Nothing really feels yerratable. I mean, that's fair enough. We're going to be waiting till the chest before anything actually feels yerratable, but still. It could be more yerra stuff. Yerra stuttle? Stay at half heart interval for aforementioned reasons. Careful there. Next big more keys. going to help because we're going to be yerra in the chest. Although, we did say we'd probably do Mega Stand, and we are very defensively capable and quite offensively capable as well although I'm not sure whether um, I'm not sure whether taking tech 2 was a great idea in this situation but we'll see how we do we can basically heal ourselves indefinitely as long as Bob's brain is around why have we got the occasional split shot which also is homing shot we've got um We've got a third level cube of meat, uh, ball of bandages, shooting on the regular. That's uh, doing charm tears, but I don't know why every now and then we get triple shot 
like a cricket's body sort of effect. So let's open these up now. Oh yeah, infestation two. No, might as well take Gemini. Bumbo's not going to get anything out of this for us. Uh, sure, another orbital. Ten bombs. Why not? This is a bit of a lame haul, unfortunately, but we're going to beat Mega Satan. Could have used Yara as well. That was my mistake. In fact, that's pretty much what you're supposed to do. Never mind. Because I already focused on the idea that it would be a, a Blank Card Yara thing, and then I focused on the idea that Blank Card Yara means that you, you know, hold on to Blank Card for the entire floor, keep going back to the start room, apply Yara, right? Go back to start room, charge up, apply Yara over and over again. We're not going as fast as I'd like here in terms of damage. It's mostly because you don't really factor in the tech 2 damage, I suppose. I'm slow, I don't like it. I'm already quite slow death, there's no point making it worse. So I forgot that you can also use the Yara rune itself, which we could have done, we had plenty of keys, but... Here you go. Take this. We don't know how much HP we've got. Thanks to the... Don't know how much HP you've got first, which is... Technically known as Curse of the I don't know how much HP you've got. I think these things are also explosive damage, so maybe it's just whenever a shot leaves our circle of protection, it has a chance of becoming a like a special homing split shot. I don't know. They're not happening all that often. Like I'm not. Oh, there goes Holy Mantle. Spawn on top of me, the dick. You saw it. Oh, it walks into it. Too busy paying attention to the one that was dying rather than the one that wasn't dead yet. Good. Maybe they're not homing shots. Maybe it's just a split shot. Um, uh, the, the, the pheromones and shot. You know what I'm saying. Oh, here we go. These angels with their different colouring. Come on now. Confusing me with what you're doing. Itch. Nose. Stop itching. I don't know why my nose itches when I play Isaac. It's like each game that I play has a different physical manifestation of itself. When I play Isaac, my nose itches like a motherfucker. That was Infamy saving us. I'd actually forgotten we had Infamy. Yeah, they're doing it again. Look, see that? What's all going on? Um... Darkest Dungeon, I just lose all ability to speak. My voice goes completely crazy. What the heck? It's the being bounced back by Circle of Protection. I understand. That's why some of them split on the Isaac fight. It was the Isaac shots that would have split had they hit. Look, they get sent back by Circle of Protection and hit, hit Mega Stand. So we just need to make sure that we're only worried about the ones that Circle of Protection doesn't send back. Yeah, these ones are also being multiplied because they were multipliable shots in the first place. Yeah, bring it on. Asshole. I'm not dying as fast as I'd like, but dying fast enough. Not really been hit more than maybe once or twice. Let's get down here so we can keep doing some damage with Tech 2. This is where Tech 2 really becomes useful because you can keep shooting, even from this distance. Bob's rotten head, Bob's brain's getting in there. And we're done, that was actually a really good fight. 40 minutes, a bit, bit slower than I'd like, but thank you for watching. We are still no closer to 1,001%. But, it is what it is. Not tab, where is it? Stats, it's here. Yeah, nearly there. Well, thank you for watching. Here are all the things we've collected. Here's one of them we need, and here's the other one. And I hope in the next episode we can move a little bit further. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.